everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do five beauty hacks using a toothbrush. I actually read up on this and I was really surprised that you could do so many things with using household items. I know it's so weird, but you're going to be amazed. One of, so the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do using a toothbrush is combing out your brows. So when I was younger, I really could have used this because my brows were cray cray. They were all over the place. I didn't know what to do with them. I know my parents were not going to go out and buy me a brow gel. They would not buy me any beauty products when I was a teenager. So I really could have used this. I had a toothbrush and you know, you can always buy a clean toothbrush. <laughs> I suggest you use a clean toothbrush, guys. I have my balm here, and I am using a body balm for my brows. And um, let's see, my brows are a little brushed out right now. Let's just mess them up a little bit. So I just messed up my brows for you guys. And so what I'm gonna do is take the brush and work it into the balm. And now I'm going to brush them out. So just brush them up and out like that and they're gonna stay in place all day so it does a pretty good job I never thought about using like a toothbrush for this stuff you can also brush through your uh, brows without the balm to neaten up the shape so they look nice and well groomed without using any fancy brow gels just in case you're out of brow gel then you can always use a toothbrush So another thing you can do is smooth out sore lips. So just take a little bit of the balm, put it on your lips. Take your clean toothbrush and brush your lips in a circular motion for about 15 seconds. I can already feel my lips are super soft. So that's another cool trick that you can do using a toothbrush. And what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this hairspray and just lightly spritz it on the brush. My hands are really slippery, sorry guys. Just slightly spritz it. Do I, have, I don't have any flyaways? That is so weird. I always have flyaways. Here, let's just make some. Okay. So I have a few, I, uh, I just jacked up my hair. So now I'm just going to take my brush and try it out, see if it works. So I have some right here, I'm just gonna... So you just lightly comb over your flyaways and it seems to be working pretty well. So another thing that you can do is tease your hair. So um, if you don't have, if you don't have it, so let's just say your parents won't let you buy a teasing brush because it's crazy expensive or you just can't find your teasing brush, grab a toothbrush, section your hair off and just tease it like you would at the crown. So we're gonna do that right now. And you just comb it downward. So now that you have all of this craziness going on back there, just do that. Let me turn myself around. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so now obviously we have some volume to work with, but um, so after we've teased our hair, like so, <laughs> just grab your brush and we're gonna tame the flyaways. This is so funny to me right now, I don't know why. Okay, we're just gonna brush your hair down. <laughs> okay, keep brushing my hair down. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this actually grasps, grasps your hair really well. Oh my God, that is so awesome. So you can actually create this really nice volume using a toothbrush. I would so grab this instead of a teasing brush. Maybe I'll start using a toothbrush. So if you tan like I do, I self tan every other Sunday, so I'm always having like this blotchiness around my neck and around my arms. So what you can do is you take lemon and baking soda, mix them together, and when you have the bristles of the brush, it's the perfect tanning smoother. So it smooths out your tan, it evens it out, and yeah. You should try that and you'll notice that your tan looks like it never faded. And I always get blotchy this like around my chest and around my, my hands, my arms, usually around here. 
and it fixes it pretty well. So I did try that. I read up on it a few uh, weeks ago, actually, and I've been playing with this stuff. So, so if you want to see more beauty hacks that you can use with random things lying around your house, let me know in the comments or random things anywhere. I'll look them up. Now you're gonna brush your teeth. So um, if you don't has if you don't has it, so I have a few. I uh, you know what brushes work best? The ones that are like a dollar. And you're gonna take your clean toothbrush. <laughs> this is not clean. So we can try out this. What is this? It's all over the place now. Do not stick your toothbrush in it because I just did that. Not what I was supposed to do. All right, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until the next video, bye dollies. So if you missed my last two videos, you can check them out below. And also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, you probably want to be. You can check out your tweets over to this side. I always love looking at your tweets. And I put them right here so I can show you guys some love back. And don't forget to like this video. And that's it. Bye. <laughs> Bye.